Hello friends, welcome. Let us take a new case of assignment problem. We are going to find the optimal solution of an assignment problem through HAM, Hungarian Assignment Method. As now we know that the first step is to prepare a revised table by subtracting the lowest value of each row from all other all the values of the row. So let us prepare revised table or reduced table 1. It is also known as reduced table. Yes, row minus lowest value at which the formula to be followed. In first row, the lowest value is 65. So, 85 minus 65, 20, 75 minus 65, 10, 65 minus 65, 0, 125 minus 65 is 60, and 75 minus 65 is 10. In the second row, the lowest value is 66. Let us subtract 66. 90 minus 66, 24. 78 minus 66, 12, 66 minus 66, 0, 132 minus 66 is 62, 6, 78 minus 66 is 12. In row 3, the lowest value is 57, so we have to subtract 57. 75 minus 57, 18. 66 minus 57, 9. 57 minus 57, 0. 114 minus 57, that is 57. 69 minus 57, 12. In the fourth row, the lowest value is 60. Let us subtract it. 80 minus 60, 20. 72 minus 60, 12. 60 minus 60, 0. 120 minus 60, 60. 72 minus 60, 12. And in the fourth row, rather fifth row, the lowest value is 56. So we have to subtract it from all values. 76 minus 56, 20. 64 minus 56, 8. 56 minus 56, 0. 112 minus 56 is 56. And 68 minus 56 is 12. Now check whether we have at least one zero in all the rows and all the columns. We have a zero in all the rows. But since all the zeros are in a single column, we cannot have at least one zero in all other columns. So step two is required. And what is step two? It is similar. Now we have to subtract lowest value from each column so that we can have at least one zero in each column as well as in each row. So now revise the table two. That will be column minus lowest. column minus lowest. The same pattern. Yes. In the first column A, the lowest value is 18. Let us subtract 18 from all. 20 minus 18, 2, 24 minus 18, 6, 18 minus 18, 0, 20 minus 18, 2 in last two values, in place of last two values. Now in row, row rather column B, the lowest value is 8, so we have to subtract 8 from all, 10 minus 8, 2, 12 minus 8, 4, 9 minus 8, 1, 12 minus 8, 4, 8 minus 8, 0. All zeros in C. In D, the lowest value is 56. Let us subtract 60 minus 56, 4. 66 minus 56, 10. 57 minus 56, 1. 60 minus 56, 4. 56 minus 56, 0. The lowest value in column E is 10. That is only once and all other four values are 12. So it will be 0, 2, 2, 2 and 2. Now let us check whether we have at least one zero in all columns and all rows. Yes, we have. First row two, second row one, third row two, fourth row one, second, uh, fifth row three. And 
in columns first one second one third all zeros fourth single fifth single now we can go for assignment let us make the assignment and what is the rule of assignment step 1 is find out row with single zero and make assignment and from top to bottom the order is to be maintained in the first row there are two zeros so it doesn't qualify for assignment in the second row there is one zero yes it is eligible for assignment and when we make any assignment in any row automatically the assignment is made any in any one column and we have to cancel all zeros in the same column because in any column we can make only one assignment now there is no other row is with single zero before cancellation so we have to go now column wise in the first column there is a single zero there is no other zero in the same row and one is with cancellation so no other cancellation in row 3 in column b also there is a zero in the same row there is open zero we have to cancel it in c assignment has already been made in d now there is no open zero and in e there is an open zero and no other zero in the same column for cancellation let us count the number of assignments number of assignments are four number of jobs and number of workers are five that is n is five or the size of the assignment problem is five by five but only four assignment can be made that means this is not the optimal solution of the given assignment problem now we have to move forward what is the other process the other process is find out the lowest open name sorry now first of all find out the row without any assignment that is row 4 just tick mark it just tick mark row 4 first of all find out the row or rows without any assignment there is no assignment just mark it now find out the zero in this marked row and mark the column with that zero in the marked row find out the zero and mark the column with that zero okay now what now find out the assignment in the marked column it is here mark the row with that assignment mark the row with that assignment so i am going to repeat the steps first of all find out the row without assignment and mark it find out the zero in the marked row mark the column with that zero find out the assignment in the marked column mark the row with that assignment now what now draw a line covering all unmarked rows draw a line covering all unmarked rows and mark the column see the number of lines 4 and see the number of assignments 4 they are always equal but that is not our point now what to do see there are three types of values we can see in the assignment table or revised table some values are open some values are covered under the line and some values are covered under the point of intersection the treatment of all these three in the next table are different first we have to select the lowest open value the lowest open value is 2 now what to do this 2 is our key element subtract 2 from all open values
subtract 2 from all open values add this 2 to all values on point of intersection and keep all other values unchanged now what do we mean by all other values the values which are under the line but they are not under the point of intersection will remain unchanged 2 0 0 2 2 1 etc they will remain unchanged in the next table so now let us prepare the revised table 3 by following these rules Now what? Following the rules, subtract 2 from all, we are going row wise, 2 underline, so as it is 2 underline, so it is 0 is on in point of intersection, so we have to add this 2 to that 0, 2, 4 as it is, 0 as it is. 6 is open value, 6 minus 2, 4, 4 is open value, 4 minus 2, 2. 0 is on line, so as it is 10 minus 2, 8, 2 minus 2, 0. 0 is on line, so it is 0, 1 on line, it is 1. 0 is on point of intersection, 0 plus 2, 2. 1 is on line, as it is, 2 is on line, as it is. 2 is open value, 2 minus 2, 0. 4 is open value, 4 minus 2, 2. 0 is on line, 0. 4 is open value, 2. 2 is open value, 2 minus 2, 0. 2 is on line as it is, 0 is on line as it is, 0 is on point of intersection, 0 plus 2, 2, 0 is on line as it is, 2 is on line as it is. Now, let us again try to make assignments. We have to follow the same rule. First of all, find out the row with single 0 and make assignment. The first row itself is with same, uh, single 0, so we have to make assignment. And we have to cancel all other zeros in the same column. Row 3 is also with single zero. Make assignment, cancel the zeros in same column. Row 4. As single zero but after cancellation to 2. Leave it. Row 5 has 2 zeros. Now let us go column wise. In the first column we have already make, made assignment. In the second column there is single zero. Yes, we have to make assignment. And we have to cancel the zero in same row. In the column C there are two zeros. Leave it. In column D now there is no open zero. In column E we have already made assignment. Now what? Again, let us go row wise. Now find out the row with single zero after cancellation. Row 2 is with single zero after cancellation, we have to make assignment there and we have to cancel the zero in the same column. Now no row is with any open zero as well as no column with any open zero. Let us count the number of assignments 1, 2, 3, 4. Again the same thing. We have only 4 assignments. So we will have to repeat the entire procedure right from the marking what is the rule of marking find out the row without assignment again it is row 4 find out the zeros in the marked row there are three zeros mark all the column with zeros first third and fifth now find out the assignments in the marked column third tick mark it rather Tick mark the row with that assignment here and here also. I am going to repeat the steps of marking. First, find out the row without assignment and mark it. Then, find out zeros in the marked row. Mark the column with these zeros. Find out the assignment in the marked columns. 
and mark the rows with these assignments. Now what? Mark the row without marking with a line. That is only last row. And mark the column. The rule of drawing line is a line is drawn on unmarked row and marked column. We have again four lines and match them with the assignments. The assignments are also four. Both are equal always. So again the same thing. Find out the lowest open value. What is the lowest open value? For this table, now the lowest open value is 1. So we have to prepare the new table by following these rules. Subtract 1 from all open values. Add the same 1 to all values on the intersection of two lines. And keep all other values unassigned. Let us prepare the revised table number. Four. This was third, not second. I'm very sorry. A, B, C, D, and E. And here are the workers number one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now what? Follow the rules. Subtract one from all open values. Add one to all values on point of intersection. Keep all other values unchanged. All other values mean values on line but not on intersection. Two will remain same. Another two is open value. Two minus one, one. Two on line, same. Four minus one, three, zero, same. Four on line, same. Two minus one, one, zero on line as it is. Eight minus one, seven, zero on line as it is. Zero on line as it is. 1 minus 1, 0, 2 as it is because it is on line. 1 minus 1, 0, 2 as it is. 0 is on line, so 0 remains same. 2 minus 1, 1, 0 on line as it is. 2 minus 1, 1, 0 on line as it is. This, zero is, this 2 is on point of intersection, so we have to add 1 to that. 3, 0 on line as it is. 2 on intersection, 2 plus 1, 3. 0 on line as it is, 2 again on intersection, 2 plus 1, 3. Now we have another revised table. Let us go for assignment. The first step is find out the row with only one zero. Again that is row 1. single zero originally without cancellation there is no same row let us go for column no other column with single zero only so now we will have to go for a row with single zero after cancellation and that is row two now we have to go for row four Now what? We have no other row with single zero. So we are going to find a column with single zero. But we have no column with single zero. Now we have so many choices. We can select arbitrarily this zero and cancel these two. So ultimately this zero will be assigned. Or we can assign arbitrarily to this zero. This 2 will be cancelled and this 0 will be ultimately eligible for assignment and there will be 3 plus 2, 5 assignments. So this is the case of multiple optimal solution. We have two choices. Either 
to assign at these two places or I am going to use another color to assign at these two places. So we have two multiple optimal solutions. We are going to find out the cost under these two situations. What is going to happen? This is set 1 and this is set 2. Now workers are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. If we go for the first set, red set, the assignment is to worker 1, we are going to assign job E, the cost is 75. To worker 2, we are going to assign job C, the cost is 66. To worker 3, we are going to assign job B, cost is 66. To worker 4, we are going to assign job A, the cost is 80. And to worker 5, we are going to assign job D. The cost is 112. Let us calculate the cost. It comes to 399 rupees. 399. All the five jobs can be completed at a cost of rupees 399. Now another pattern of assignment is also possible with green marking. To worker 1, we are going to assign job E, no change, 75. To worker 2, we are going to assign job C, no change, 66. To worker 3, we are going to assign job D instead of B. Cost will be 114. To worker 4, we have to assign job A only, cost 80, no change actually. And to worker 5, now we are going to assign job B, the cost is 64. Now let us calculate the total cost. It is same. Rupees 399. So this is the case of multiple optimal solution as we can see here. That's all. Thank you very much.